story. It was not my intentions to be this man's side piece, um, home wrecker, whole bag, uh, mysteries, whatever it is that y'all want to call me in them darn comments. So let me, let me get into it. Let me get this tea going. Okay, so I used to work at this retail store and this customer would come in here all the time and I would change his watch batteries for him and just do little things for him and help him find things in the store so one day I had my clipboard um, with me because my manager he would like always just give me like kind of like manager duties so you know they would kind of put me up a little bit so anyways he had a he had a clipboard I mean I had a clipboard he comes in, he's like, oh, did you did you move up and whatnot? Do you, are you not working in the same little spot? I said, yeah, I'm still working there. You know, my um manager, he's just letting me, you know, do some manager type stuff for him. You know, he didn't want to work. So anyways, I'm doing whatever I'm doing, whatever. And he was like, oh, can you help me find something? So I'm helping him find whatever he's looking for and we can't find it. So he was like, oh, well, since we can't find it, you owe me your number. Now, I'm looking at him like, I owe you my number. But the thing is, y'all, this boy, he was, he was cute. He was cute. He was my type, you know, curly hair, light skin. He, he was my type. He was my type. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna flit like he was my type. But he definitely was. But, um, so... I was like, oh, you, I owe you my number. He was like, how old are you? Now, at the time, at the time, y'all don't talk about me, I was 19. I was 19. I asked him how old he was because he definitely looked it like he was older than me. This man said he was 30, y'all. <laughs> 30. They older than my big brother. But I didn't care. I was like, he's cute. I'm grown now. You know, I'm smelling myself. I'm over the age of 18, whatnot. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to talk to him. He's cute. He don't look 30, whatever, whatever. So I, he, he's like, okay, oh, I get your number. We can go out um, this weekend because that was on a, like a Wednesday or a Thursday. He was like, we can go out to dinner or something like that this weekend. I said, okay, cool. He coming correct. He told me I spit in that coin. He ain't talking about come over to the house on the third day so i'm like okay 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 I, I i hear you so he gets my um number and that was it for the rest of the day i didn't hear nothing from here and i didn't hear nothing from them the day after either so i'm so at this point i'm thinking like oh, okay well he must have fell back he didn't really want to you know hang out so i think it was like a friday or a saturday he hit me up he's like oh you want to go to this restaurant so I'm like, mm, yeah, we can go. That's cool. So we get dressed up, whatnot, go to this restaurant. We eat. We had a good time because it was like I already knew him because he came in the store so much that I worked at. And he would always talk to me in there for a long period of time. So it was kind of like we already knew each other prior to like us going out. So it was no like weird conversations or anything like that. So we ate our little food, whatnot, whatnot. And it was um, time for us to, time for him to take me back to my car. So he's like, oh, do you have your own place? And I'm thinking to myself, you know, I'm 19. Well, now I'm not thinking to myself. I did tell him I was 19. But I did, um, what did he do? I had told him that I don't have my own place, but I stay with my parents. But I was not comfortable with him coming to my house because he was so much older than me so I wasn't really hearing to come over to my house for you know to chill or whatever so I was like okay cool can I you know um you want me to come over to your house and he got real either dumbfounded or defensive or something of that nature he was just like um nah we I, um I'm painting and it smells like paint in the house or and I had, he did tell me he had a son. 
he was like um and my son's here you know we're, we're just now starting to talk so i don't want to really just bring you around my son i'm like okay cool 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 that's that's definitely understandable like i have no problems with you saying that okay fast forward so you know we we start kicking it a little more and more we kicking it kicking it going out to dinner and stuff like that so now i'm in the phase we're like okay cool we, we should be able to go to, to um each other's houses and whatnot and so i even like i was even like thinking about telling um my mom at least that i was talking to somebody older like i really was because i was about to turn 20 so i mean i was like mm, it wouldn't be too bad i'll probably gonna exaggerate the truth and be like he's 27 or something like that but <laughs> anyways he told me one day to come over his house I said, okay, cool. We can go over his house. He had a nice house. He had like a downstairs. It was like pool table and like a big screen and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, cool. I can come over, chill a little bit. So I go over to his house. And the first thing that I noticed when I went over this man's house was the decor. Now women uh, not all of us but women y'all know when the decor is too pretty or too put together a man couldn't have did this like he couldn't have did it like it was too too matchy like it was i was like my man what's going on here like i immediately was like what woman has been here so I asked him, I was like, oh, you, it's really pretty in here. I was like, you set this up yourself? He was like, nah, my mom set me set this up and whatnot. And, you know, she she came up with the idea for the coloring and all that stuff like that. So I said, okay, cool. Your mama did it. So we hang out that one day. So that's cool. And then one day I was getting off of work late. It was probably like at 12 o'clock at night. He... I wrote him and I was like, I, I work a late shift tonight. I was like, but I want to come over. So he was like, um, I have to see. So I'm like, why do you have to see? Like, we've been talking for a minute. Like, mind you, we've been talking for like two months now. So I'm like, what do you need to see? Like, what? I don't get it. And so I was like, when I got off work, I told him, I said, so what's up? Like, what do you want to do? He said, okay, cool. Come through, but come to the back door. I said, why am I going through the back? Because mind you, they had a dog. I said, why am I coming through the back door? Um, And then he tells me, me being naive and just like young and stupid. I was like, okay. He's like, he told me that his son was asleep. He didn't want to wake him up. So just come through the back door so that he does not wake up. So me being just young, stupid, whatever, whatever. I was like, oh, okay, that sounds good to me, whatever. So I go over to his house. And we, you know, chilling, same thing, same thing. Chilling, whatnot, whatnot. So um, at this point, like, I wouldn't say we would get intimate. But it would get a little spicy in the house if you know what I mean. It would get a little spicy. So, we are downstairs. I hear walking going on. Mind you, he said his um, son, he told me his son is two. Two-year-old feet should not be making, like, what I want to, like, it was like, 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 real life stomp like you know heavy feet i'm like what is that so i asking him what is that what is that what what not he's like what is what because we were um looking at tv i'm like you don't hear that walking he's like walking and, and I'm, I'm panicking now too because you panicking he's like walking i'm like yeah you don't hear that so he goes upstairs He's upstairs for, I'm looking at my clock here. I'm like, 
My boy, you been on staff about 45 minutes. What's going on? 45 minutes turn into an hour? Hour turn into hour 30 minutes? At that point, I'm like, what the hell going on with that nigga? Like, what done happened upstairs? Like, what really going on? So, he finally comes back downstairs. I'm like, and at this point, I'm mad. I'm like, what, why would you leave me? I'm like, why would you leave me downstairs for an hour and a half? He's like, um, I gotta tell you something. Blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, what, what's up? He's like, um, I have a wife. I said, you got a huh? Um, I got a wife, but you know, we are on the rocks and stuff like that, and she just came back and I thought that maybe if I snuck you in the house you wouldn't have to know about all this. I said, huh? What you like what you say, babe? Like, I I'm like, no, you have a who, a what, a where? So I'm like, okay, I'm I'm dipping. Like I can't. Like, I'm not staying here. I'm dipping. So he's like the thing is, like, you can't leave right now. I said, who be? I ain't held captive. And then he's like, B you can't leave right now because she's going to hear you leave out the um back door. I said, listen at me. I'm finna leave because I'm not getting killed over no man. You understand me? He's like, okay, can you just wait a minute? So I, I really... What I should have done was just leave anyways and get him in trouble. But that's not what I did because I didn't do my due diligence on, you know, really making sure he was straight and whatnot before I started talking to him. So he's like, can you just stay down here and let me get her to go to sleep? I said, okay. Y'all, I was over this house till 4.30 in the morning probably five waiting till his wife goes to sleep till I left I snuck back out the back door because I didn't know I was sneaking in but I guess I was <laughs> I snuck back out that back door and do you know what I did I put him on the block list as soon as I got from out of his driveway like what in the world like don't you ever put me in danger again in your life and that just goes for anybody like i i don't understand why men would do why would you do that why would you put my life at danger i want my life i, I want kids like what y'all this was some crazy stuff right here i had never experienced nothing like this in my entire life but, if you like that story and you want to hear more story times, let a girl nizzo. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace. See you later.